Hey guys, this is Chetan and let's start the modeling. To create the design, I am going to add the cylinder and this time we will go with the 24 words. After that, you need to scale the cylinder along the z-axis. Then go to the edit mode, select this top face and E to extrude it and move it along the z-axis and then scale it down along the x and y-axis and create a taper form add there. The next thing, you need to add one more cylinder add there and we will go with the 12 words. Then scale it down the cylinder and you need to give the right position to the cylinder because we want to create that boolean details. So just rotate it little bit and try to give the right position, right angle to this cylinder. After that you need to add the loop cut like this and just need to try to match it properly. And then select both objects and use the boolean operation which is union. Then apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Then just need to select these words and then merge them. You need to create the right topology add there so that's why you need to add the loop cuts like this and you need to create the supportive loop structure add there for the model for that boolean so that's why add the loop cuts and then select the words rightly connect vertex path and create a right chord based topology add there for this boolean then you can select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry along the x-axis now you need to add the central loop cuts like this in between these edges or in between those 24 words. Then you can select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the x-axis. Then you can select these edge loops, means those vertical edges, and you can use the set flow at there. We want to match the perfect edge flow at there, so we will get the perfect cylindrical form at there. So that's why you need to select these vertical edges with the shift or select, and then use the chicory select, and then use the set flow to match the edge flow properly. A similar kind of thing you need to do for this slant edges which are in a particular angle. For these edges also you need to do the same step. You need to select these edges with a shift select and same thing use the set flow to maintain the good of edge flow at there. And now you can see we are getting the perfect cylindrical form at there that looks really well. Then you can select this top face and here also you can use the set flow. Then you can just play with the form of the model and you can add more details on it. After that you need to add the center loop cut like this. And here I want to create a little bit of design so that's why I select these faces and then E to extrude them. And move them along the Z axis. It's local Z axis or it's a normal Z axis. So just move them along the Z axis. And then you need to scale them along the Z axis and make it flat. That's like this. And just create a basic form add there. I want to create that holding part or you can place your nuts and bolts add there to fix this part on somewhere. So something like that. So that's why. Then you can select these edges and you can use the edge slide add there to give the right position to these edges. Then you can select these edges and control X to dissolve them and add a new edges add there. And now just you need to create the right topology add there to maintain this form. So that's why you can use the knife tool like this. Then you can select these edges and then control X to dissolve them. And you can see here are the double words so just merge them. And same thing you need to do at the bottom side also. Then I will use the knife tool add here and then create the loop cut like this. Means that cut means that supportive edge loop to maintain the form. Then select everything and then mesh symmetrize take the symmetry along the x-axis. And then you can add the sub modifier on the model. You can select these bottom faces and you can use the insert operation add there. Add more support to loop cuts on the model. Here you can use the knife tool and you can create the cut like this. Don't need to worry about that cylindrical form. We will get a decent form add there. Add the supportive loop cuts like this on the model to maintain the good form. Then just to work here, then you can select this face and use the insert operation. And then you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the loop structure around this boolean. Just give the right position to the words. And you can add more supportive loop cuts on the model. Then I'm going to use the knife tool add here and just create a cut like this because I want a supportive edge loop add there so that's why I just create the cut. Now you can see these edges are little bit close to each other 
so we can use the set flow add there so just select these edges in this way with the shortest path selection and then use the set flow so you will get a good edge flow on the model and smooth shading because of that now you can see that looks really well then just play with the form and try to get the decent looking design at there that's not difficult easily you can do this In this way you can create this kind of design so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our channel bye bye so next video take care